we have been in LA for an hour. <laughs> this is right? illegal. This is illegal. Yeah. What so I'm doing? No. I know what you're, you're doing for sure. Oh, I'm in a parking lot though. We're in a parking lot. We've been in LA for an mm -hmm. hour, eating a burrito, gonna go to dinner soon. So far, I would say Andrew's vibes are what needs to be documented more than anything. It's because really like the anxiety that he is exuding, but also at the same time, somehow seemingly so relaxed. <laughs> He just was making a left turn on into oncoming traffic and a sign that may have said acapella caught his eye and he just completely stopped looking yeah, at the traffic. I, could, I couldn't stop looking. You think this is a one way? I bet you this Marshalls has some good stuff. That's what you're currently driving down? Yeah. No, it would say it. You're right. I honestly, like, I'm feeling really good. I feel different in LA. Like, I definitely feel like it's curing a lot, like... Of things that I normally go through in New York, people seem to be friendly here. They, people, people seem to be like letting you go in the past. <laughs> um, uh, um, oh, <laughs> so we are gonna vlog LA, which I'm actually really excited. About. I'm very excited. We've been meaning to vlog for a, a long time. It just we haven't really done it. Mm -hmm. um, and this feels like the perfect time. We're gonna be here for three weeks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do four shows in that time frame across the West Coast. Um, we're gonna do some fun things that we've never done before. I'm getting another tattoo. This, this is my trip. first time ever having polo, Pollo Loco. <laughs> and how is it? Okay. <laughs> For me, it gives. Um, <laughs> it's definitely like it's fine. Uh -huh. It's okay. The what? Like, listen. The woman behind the counter, friendly. No indictment on her. No, she was amazing. We have an hour drive to our Airbnb, and it's raining out. They got everything here. We're going to Burger King. Taco Bell. Burger King. Chick-fil-A. Pollo Loco. Wendy's. Fridays. There's a few goals from this trip, I would say. What you just said is one of them. I do. I was saying that I do feel like I'm close to Selena Gomez. I feel like she's in New York filming Only Murders. She actually could be. But it's okay. But her presence, her presence lingers here. It's lingering. It does. I really want to make music. I watched the Charlie XCX documentary on the plane here. <laughs> and I feel like I'm putting the energy into the universe that I'm going to meet someone who really loves producing music. And it's like, we well, yeah, I would collab. I'm going to have an apartment or jobs. Money. We're just booking. We're um, in our Airbnb. And like we've been here for probably an hour. And, we've and just like, can you just open oh, my closet door for a second? Why? Joe's fully. He's been. He's gonna be here for months. You can tell me. This is the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in my entire life. Andrew's having actually a psychotic break. I know that all we've done so far is be in a car, which is like that's our vibe. But. We just went to Barry's Boot Camp. We did it, and let's just walk through the entire experience. Okay, so we get to Barry's Boot Camp, we go up to the, the counter. Andrew, last night, we land last night, you say immediately the first thing we need to do, the first thing we must do is buy a two-week trial at Barry's. This is actually, to me, the worst nightmare case scenario. What's happening? What we're doing right now? Yeah, Andrew is, Andrew said he looked up the coaches on Instagram and I'm gonna quote-unquote kill myself. We sign up and there's this weird little message when we pop up that's yeah. like, mm, there's not going to be a seat available, but like you'll get a seat when you get to class. We get to class. We get to class, I go up to the counter, I say, hey, checking in, Andrew Muscarella and Joe Hedges. She goes, oh, <laughs> you're on standby. Which we didn't know. Which like, if that's a triggering thing to say to anybody, like because even with like a flight, you're on standby right. and you're panicked. Joe's Sick the entire I time. wasn't that I wasn't that sick going. I'm we did affirmations in the car right there. I felt pretty confident. I then once she said you guys don't have a spot is when I was like, I need to get out of here. The room starts flooding with, you know, like the typical Barry's gay. We don't know if we're gonna get a spot. At no. this point, I'm praying that we don't. All we want is our parking validated at this point. I was like, I swear to God, <laughs> if I got to pay for parking and I was on standby. About five minutes after class started, yeah. I would say. I went alerts, to the counter. Yeah. And I said, this is our first class ever. <laughs> she goes, I oh. wish you said something <laughs> earlier. I go, what? like, I'm sorry. Like, I thought you would have been alerted <laughs> on your system that it's our first class ever. Anyway, she's, she's sick to her stomach. Um, about the fact that she needs to explain it to us. She has the same level of anxiety that she yes. matches me. Yes. And then she goes, okay, you guys, you're in. 
We're in, We're which was my worst case scenario. At this point, I wanted to get a smoothie and go home. Now the class is going, and we're being escorted to our stations. And if you haven't been to a Barry's, it's honestly, he does look like a torture room. Like, it is just like 25 rows of benches, and then like 25 treadmills. It's kind of sexy. It's pitch black. The music is blasting. Everyone is already on all fours. But overall, I do feel like a different person. Yeah, it's been one day, so that's mania. We feel different here. So it's our first Saturday night. Oh my God. I can't believe you just took out your phone and did this. <laughs> I just had to document two things. It's about 9.40. Yes. I've been yeah. on this couch for a little bit. I would say about 20 minutes. I just wanted to bring up one really important thing and, and it's that I ordered the crumble cookies. <laughs> I actually did not know that crumble cookies were available nationwide. I thought this was like an exclusive to LA experience that we were having. Don't order crumble cookies from an hour away. We'll see what happens if they show up. It's my, it's our first crumble experience. And it's also our first Saturday night in LA. LA. And I feel like if you're going to live LA right, this, this is the way to do it. Yeah. We're here <laughs> for a while. We're going to be going- You look like when they found Osama. <laughs> Guys, we ate the cookies. We ate the cookies. We're on to our final cookie. Joe did get the cutter, so like we, I, I honestly think I only can have a quarter. I'm having a quarter of each one. Yeah, it was just a full cookie. One full cookie, which is so normal. Do you want to talk about the ones that we both collectively? This. Had? It was definitely very good. It tastes like straight up peanut butter. That's like pure pee. The sugar cookie. When you said almondy, it tastes like straight up almonds. Next, we not, this is our big moment. I've us. had this one. Yeah, you've had this and I've had this. I don't remember a single bite of this. Okay, I'm gonna take the biggest piece. I love this. I'm a little unsure on this one. This one I might stop eating. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Hey guys. So like, listen, like what is a vlog when you think about it? We're yeah. going to Starbucks. We're going to Starbucks and being a pinkity drinkity. We're seeing screen later today. I'm gonna get popcorn. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been dreary. It's been dark vibes today. But although it's not really been like, I mean like, work has been gotten, I'm sorry. Work, work has, has been, been gotten, gotten done. done. Work <laughs> has been gotten, gotten done. done. What you're about to see is how we prep for a live show. Um, you're be warned that it's delusion. We Los Angeles. We are watching the WWE. WWE. Should we? Should we show it? Right yeah, I think that we Okay. <laughs> you know when you're like seven years old? Yeah. And you just lock your family in their room for the performance. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what it is. You know when you're like seven years old? Yeah. And you just lock your family in their room for the performance? <laughs> that's what he does. That's exactly what it is. The that's whole it. episode, the Disney Channel. Yes. Yes. Like the Disney Channel, like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I feel good about this. I also do. I think we should do, we should write down our talking points. Yeah, I agree. I'm kind of... I do feel like the murders of Sharon Tate are alive and well in this city. I am just like, I'm just like anticipating murder. And then like yesterday I came across a TikTok where someone was like, there are 2,000 active serial killers in the United States at any given moment. Did they order, you think, for the entire Starbucks? Frappuccinos. <gasps> oh, it was a baked good. An ED dinner? I don't want an ED dinner, but I want like a, an MP dinner, like a meal prep dinner. But that's like not for a, a vacation like this. No. Why is the air always on? Do, do, these do, do, days, do. these days, these days, these days. days someone new every single day yeah i agree and like having a conversation with somebody every single day yeah. i think it's time to fuck it up yeah you know what i mean and i think that we had this conversation a few months ago but we weren't in the place to fuck it up no 
I'm sleeping. Um, and that's just the truth. I just want to document the fact that it's 6 57 a.m. I was just laughing to myself because, like, I just realized, like, how nuts we actually are. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, like, when are we gonna leave? Like, when are we gonna leave? The park? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about just now. So we're here. We're potentially 12 hours. 12 hours, probably. Yeah, we're probably in the car at like 9. I can only assume that. Oh my god. I can god. only assume that would be the case. We're going to Disneyland. We're here, you guys. We made it to Disney. I'm feeling really calm. I would say the word is. I'm Right now, I'm looking at the castle and I'm in disbelief as to how minuscule, I wouldn't even use small, minuscule that castle is. Can you just pan to it? What the heck? Nothing like a little bit of stress when you come into the parks. Joe is on trying to get our lightning passes. This is all so sick and crazy. We're starving. I've been here for what, an hour and a half? All I want is food. All I want. Are we? So we're currently at the Red Roo <laughs> the Red Rose Tavern. Um, we are about to eat our first meal of the day. I did get the breakfast gourmet sandwich. Listen, the picture looked different, and that's fine. That's literally fine. Joe, you look like you kind of won. I do think I won. What did you get? Um, the harvest ball, right? Mm -hmm. The breakfast quinoa ball. Yeah. We'll see what happens. What are your thoughts? I'm sure it's pretty good. Um, I was reading a cauliflower, which you're not anticipating from like a Disney meal in my opinion. And as a former vegetarian, I was only eating vegetarian meals here and they were horrible a few years ago, like literally horrible. It was mainly just like a tomato. This is kind of excellent. I mean, you gotta get a little taste of this. A little taste of the sauce? Mm -hmm. I need some of that sauce. It's like a spicy ranch. And then we have this just, just to share. Music. Just to share. What were your thoughts on the food? Subpar. It is subpar. It does have a nice maple spread, I will say. That's really... And you love a maple spread. I love a maple spread on an egg. Mm. It's one of my favorite. And a little bacon. Delicious. This? Joe, what did you say? What is going to happen? I'm going to SMBO. Yeah. We'll let you gather what that means. But this is full cream. We ate all of that food in I would say what six minutes max. Oh, max. max and max, max, max. Um, now we're going to go on Matterhorn. A little roller coaster because you know what? If anything is good for us, it's a little bit of cream and then a little bit of steam. Post. Oh wow! You like that? A cream and a steam. Yep. <laughs> I won't be oh, they're gonna kick you out of this park. That's creepy. It's steamy. Okay. Andrew. I'm Right now we're making a specialty, which is an iced coffee from the Royal Sweet Verona Life Hack. They don't make iced coffees here. Life Hack, they listen to good children. They do. But I'm getting into cream. And I've been into cream. Well, guys. Well, I'm sorry. It's a family park. Just the happiest place on earth, you guys. We have gotten down Haunted Mansion, Heights of the Caribbean. Matterhorn. Now we're walking to Mickey's Runway Railway. We did pay the additional twenty dollars each to get on this ride. To get on this one right here. Genuinely, I really mean this, and I mean I don't say this often, and I would never make light of death. I'm close. I'm close for it's sure. Like, it's like I have no energy. We keep eating. We just keep eating, and we're not even documenting it at this point. We're just eating like nonstop. <laughs> like, and it's just like to fill time it's like do you just keep eating is like that the point like what do you guys do and it's like to fill a void like to fill a that void. was that last thing that was emotional eating just now that was right that was like we got an annoying news and then i was like i could eat a burrito so we got here at if you're asleep on the way back i'm just telling you you're so am i <laughs> <laughs> so am i I've been walking for eight hours straight yeah we have i could use a little something Every time I've been to Disney, I've hit a wall, I'm like a yeah. scary breaking point. However, 
This one's different because it's not like full of rage. Yeah. It's more defeat. It's more like I lost Disney one. All right, guys, I forgot my backpack. I left my backpack and it has everything that I own in it. <laughs> no, including my anxiety beds and my wallet. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank god. We got our churros. Got churros guys. You can't beat. The back is like soft in the middle. Joe has anxiety. We need corn for their. Um, I would say the energy right now is pretty bleak. It is food and wine here at California Adventure. I have a so bad I, feeling I'm gonna experience that next because what else is there to do? What is there to do besides eat? And we haven't really eaten today, so. No. We made it through <laughs> that that period of time. We and drank honestly, the water. Honestly, like, I I'm feel like amazing. really good. I feel really good. I'm happy again. I'm really happy. I feel hydrated. I'm ready for these two rides and to get actually the so far And never come back. Never come back. Ever. Ever. Until next time. Until next time. I can't wait. Backstage at our San Diego show. We did our LA show last night. We are literally getting on stage in 30, 30 minutes. minutes. We're, feel we're honestly feeling good. Sipping tea, my stomach hurts a little bit. I don't want to talk about what came in and what came out. You know what I mean? Did you pump and did you dump? I didn't pump, but, but I definitely <laughs> dumped. We heard our acting team, which is Anna Surf, who is on merch general day coordination. Yep. And she also runs. Musketeers, Musketeers official. Musketeers You're official. revealing it? You're revealing the identity? I mean, like, Stop I feel like at this point, like, <laughs> we, can, we can give you the inside scoop. It's been a long time coming. Oh, it existed before Good Children, so... We did. And then we're here with our stage mom slash stylist, Ross McCallum, also really keeping the the show going today. <laughs> Actually, it has, it has literally steamed everything and anything that could be possibly steamed in this room. The sweat and the mildew that's built up on our rental tux. Listen, we couldn't we couldn't get them dry cleaned. No. Last night I wasn't wearing an undershirt, so put two and two uh, together. Okay, yeah, we just did not? Absolutely yeah. not. Okay, you guys, so we just, did, we just did this to be transparent. Okay, you are recording now. We just, we just did this. We just got breakfast at Morning Glory. Um, because that is what was suggested. It was that or breakfast. What was the place? Breakfast Revolution. That does, it doesn't matter because Morning Glory is great. It was very, very. It good. was very, very good. And, and now we're in the parking lot for the San Diego Zoo, which I couldn't be more thrilled about. Andrew is not happy to be here. He's lying through his teeth. But we just found out that the reason that we're actually here, because Ross has been the one who was really insisting on going is because it's a childhood dream of his. I used to Sweet. be homesick and watch the Animal Planet all day and watch the San Diego Zoo show and all the zoo shows and I'm obsessed. Are we gonna go on the trams? I'm getting on that damn tram, whether you like it or not. Ross I have already on. rooted our plan through every animal. I got what animals they wanted to see. And on the map, on the app, you can check them out and it tells you what to see and where to go. Don't even think, I'm not getting the app for, I'll get the app for Universal Studios. Okay, perfect. I'm not that busy. I'm actually right now at the San Diego Zoo. Can you even believe that? Who are you talking to? It's a renounceable famous zoo. After the zoo, we stopped by La Jolla. I just like can't even get it up. And they got back to LA. Um, and in the coming days, we kind of like, I think the vlogging kind of the ball was dropped, Please shot our first ever guest episode me. with Mackenzie Thomas, got to go to Spotify Studios for that, that was amazing. Um, and then, the next thing you're going to see might shock you. I'm not even going to give context. <laughs> um, we're on the way to Universal Studios, shout out to Nick Puglisi, our our best friend, oh, our silly buddy. 
um, our universal like sugar Fairy daddy godmother. That. We are going there courtesy of Universal Studios. Thank you, thank you, Universal, universal Hollywood. Um, we're going to be going to the Super Nintendo World. We're going to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You know the drill. I'm in a really good mood. It does make a difference when you put your hands up. I know, I know, I know you've been saying that Woo! recently. Woo! That you thought you saw The Last of yes. Us starring Pedro Pascal on on Showtime. Yep. This is a sponsored ad. <laughs> We're on the way right now to pick up the one and only Mackenzie Thomas from Mackenzie Thomas Industries because we are headed to where? Knott's Berry Farm. Shout out to our gorgeous, beautiful, Matthew. sexy listener, Matthew, for giving us these tickets. I cannot wait to go. I've wanted to go to Knott's Berry Farm since I was obviously a tween reading Ocean Up. So and a twink. I was not a twink when I was a tween, I'll yeah. say that. Is it Knott's Berry? I honestly don't want to help you anymore. It's not, it not is the owner of the berry farm. It's Knott's Berry Farm. Hi. Hello. Oh my God. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, it's some it's a care real. package. Early college or high school over the summer, me and my ex-boyfriend Jake, we were in New York and we got like one of those pamphlets for like a free screening at the, Scientology, Church of Scientology, no. like in Ed's kitchen. And I told my mom, I was like, oh my God, like what if me and Jake did this? And she was like, oh my God, Mackenzie, like you got, no, like, no, like I'm never gonna see you again, like blah, blah, blah. So she goes to work the next day and we just like hop on a bus <sighs> and we go and we got a free screening of like a film at the Church of Scientology and it was fucking crazy. Listen, Mackenzie, there was a, there was like a second that I was in, um... Shut, wait, shut Yeah. You never said this on the podcast? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Hey, guys. <laughs> We've hit the point of this experience, I think, where we both just, like, are ready to long nap tall building, you know? Yeah, I definitely need to go to sleep. I definitely, like, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of running around. And, like, what's almost the craziest part is the next four days are the most running around yet. And it's our final four days of this trip. We're going, from, right now we're in Venice. We're going to LAX. We're taking our flight to SF. We land at 10 p.m. in San Francisco. A very creepy, creepy Hermione Granger. Like, it's so scary. I don't like it at all. I really don't like it. You look like a freak. You look so scary. No, I hate it. 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 No, don't. Don't. No. No, this is such an insult to Anne Hathaway. <laughs> I'm gonna wait at LAX while Andrew returns the car. Mm -hmm. Um,. We have to bring our six suitcases with us now from LA to San Francisco to Seattle, back to New York. I don't and all this happens in Francisco four days. To Seattle situation because we also have shipped merch to San Francisco. <laughs> A lot of positive things. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? like, As you've seen just, throughout this it. entire thing. We've hit it. We've hit the wall. And I think that probably waking up tomorrow in a hotel in San Francisco will change the vibes like and then we're gonna get in the car and go try to find a new what store. car we're what car an uber we're gonna have to get in an uber and hopefully that place has a, a plaid mini skirt why does that have to be a mini skirt plaid skirt all right joe <laughs> oh my god oh my god the apple cinnamon roll i'm actually like shaking a little bit i think I think I'm sick. 
it's got to be the potato and cheese. <gasps> it's the cheddar garlic roll. And then here, we have the potato and cheese. We have the potato and cheese. Cheers. Listen, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Next, we have the garlic cheddar roll. It it's looks like a cinnamon roll, a cinnabon. It's like a cinnabon, but with garlic and cheddar. Oh, oh my god. It's kind of like Domino's Wishes. This doesn't say this has the taste of Domino's cheesy bread, but mm. like the quality craftsmanship of like a, of an independent baker. We've all been waiting for. That's what I believe in the The apple yeah. cinnamon roll. It reminds me of like there was a time in my like in like fourth grade where I would obsessively make like I had like a panini press and I would put like some apples, a piece of toast, press that together, eat that every single day after school. It tastes like that. Exactly like that. Wow. I'm so happy. I'm really genuinely so happy.